Hey y'all, welcome to Hidden Gems, where I take a game not on the mainstream, and I give it some spotlight to see if it deserves a title of Trash or Treasure. Today we have Z-Girls. Before we get anywhere, I want you to take a look at this. What does that look like? It took a second for me to realize that it's actually just a finger, but just... Yeah, let's just move on. Z-Girls is a game on Google Play and is also available to play online with a computer. At the time of this recording, it's on version 1.0.72, being last updated November 6th of this year. The story is that you are in some Japanese anime world that has been overrun with zombies, and the only safe place in the world happens to be an all-girls school where they have hourglass figures, generally large <coughs> uh, personalities, and you're the only male left in existence. When you first finally take control of your character, the first thing they have you do is cast your flag out, thus marking you a territory. America! Then you begin with the tutorial. Taking a step away from the story and the characters, all you need to know here is that the game plays much like any other mobile MMO, with a few minor tweaks. You have gems as your generally paid resource, and gas and food as your two common resources, and holy damn, do you have a lot of it. It's like this game forgets that it's an apocalypse game, with endless bullets, gas and food, and girls. Like a zombie immune girl making machine is in this fucking school or something. And it doesn't help that the city in the background looks totally untouched. I don't need to tell you that this game here is made for the non-majority, but I do appreciate that someone still took to bringing out the kind of variety this genre of gaming needed. This does create very, um, suggestive themes for the game, however. Some things that are said in this game and some images are subliminal in all the not-so-PG ways. I don't like that the dialogue in some spots of this game continue on their own without you pushing or tapping on anything. Come on, that didn't even finish coming onto the screen. I love that the home base has more than just buildings and your base too. Here you can call a horde with music or tap on the wandering undead to collect random items and resources. Honestly, these options here are actually pretty fucking sick. I love that they have these features in the game. I can sit here while I wait for something to build or just when I'm bored. The only issue is tapping down here is a little unresponsive. I'll be trying to collect gas here, and if my finger isn't spot on, I'll trigger the horde music. Well, at least it sounds bad at it. Or I'll be tapping on the screen multiple times to kill an enemy and get resources, but it won't register unless I'm dead on. There we go. This is logical too. Your shelter and medical center are outside where the zombies are. Whoever came up with that was a fucking genius. Here, let's cure our wounded with the undead walking right outside the fucking tent. Hmm, this person bears a striking resemblance to someone I know from a different series. Outside the hub, we have the main world. Damn, there's a lot of all-girls schools in Japan. Here it'll play common enemies strewn across the land and your allies to defend in case they need it. There is a slight difference here though compared to other MMOs. Allow me to explain. In a general MMO, when you come out to the world, it is your own risk to attack anything you wish regardless of level. In this, however, the level system is more closely monitored. You can only attack something the same level or lower, and by having this it keeps from you diminishing your army over an opponent too powerful for you. What the fuck? So they are immune to the zombie virus and they can walk on water? World Armed Forces would wear. As with any MMO, this game does have a chat feature. You can either chat with your alliance or go into the world chat and see many interesting conversations. You'll find Japanese fanboys up the ass on this system, and also tons of different people from surprisingly all over the world. The most interesting part of this chat though, and probably this whole game, is the feature of an auto-translate. You can type something in any language and depending on the player viewing it, they will see it translated to their native language, and vice versa. Most surprisingly, this works wonderfully, most of the time. I'm getting kind of tired of my name, let's change it. What? 2,000 gems? Are you serious? I think that's bullshit. It never gave me the chance to pick a username anyway. It shouldn't charge me just for wanting one. That'd be like, okay, imagine in a world where everyone is named Craig. We have Craig 1, Craig 2, and so on. Obviously, there are a select few that don't care about changing their name, but let's say you do. Now imagine if you say, I don't want to be Craig137, I want to be Stan. 
but instead of letting you have the choice to change it, they say, oh no, you have to cough up $2,000 just to do it. Is that fair? No, it's not. There was a feature I wasn't able to record, and that is you can go on dates with the characters. You have to meet certain criteria per character, however, but once you do, you can go out with them, either for the development of the character or for non-canon stories. So, this game honestly surprised me. I came into this video thinking that it was going to be just any other regular MMO, but with girls, and I was pleasantly surprised that I was mostly right. <laughs> I mean that as in, it is just an MMO with girls in it, but it has some extra features that really help it shine. You know just by the thumbnail that you're playing a game that's walking on the thin line between being subliminal and being just softcore hentai, but it does have a pleasant charm to it, if you can call it that. Now looking past that, it does have its ups and downs. There are some unrecorded sections for me where I had the game either freeze on me or straight crashed. But overall, this is a game that has a very special feel to it. Not five star quality by any means, but I can actually rate this as good. It's good. Special shout out to Jordan Johnson for help showing me this video game. And if you have a game that you either love or you hate that isn't really in the mainstream, definitely leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more, definitely hit that subscribe button. And as always, till next time. Here, let's have our wounded sit in fucking a chip from nah. As with Emmett. Ugh. <laughs> mm.